Let me turn the lights off. I want to show you something absolutely amazing. Now you've seen many videos of the ferro cell, but now I want to show you the ferro cell invention. Now these are uh, three two by two, uh, two by two by two uh, millimeter cube magnets. I want you to see the real time of these. Now I want to show you something neat. Hold on a second. I'm going to turn the viewer off here. It's kind of hard to see in the dark. Now I'm going to place a ring magnet. First I'm going to illuminate it to show you how fast the action is. And you might be quite startled. Let me zoom in. <laughs> this is real time view of a magnetic field. Now, I'm going to make a few of these tonight, these ferro cells. Not the viewing device, which is just a ring of LEDs. You can actually see the plane of inertia. Look at that. Now I'm going to place this under these two pieces of glass with a special solution in them, but under that is a one millimeter thick sheet of black plastic. So right now I'm going to place the magnet underneath the black plastic and underneath there. Hold on a second. Move the magnet down this way some. I'm using a uh, metal table. <laughs> Let me turn the lights on, then I'm going to give you another view. Hold on a second. Well, I lift this magnet up, which is not easy when it's on a metal table. And then we're going to take a look at... I should have used not a metal table, correct? Yeah, I know you're thinking, well, you didn't think that ahead very well, did you? Let's take a look at, what do you think, some ball magnets? Let's take a look at those first. By the way, here's another ferro cell that's been made with a special new solution. I'm going to make a couple of these tonight. Let me turn the light off. And then... Okay, hold on a second. There we go. Doesn't that look like a snowflake to you? Those are six neodymium N42 gauss um, 10 millimeter balls. Now I'm going to replace those with a broken ring magnet. What do you think a broken ring magnet looks like? Absolutely stunning. If you actually had this in your hands and you look down on it from a steep angle instead of down below like the camera's doing right now. Let me turn this with my thumb. See, this is real time. There are no electronics or power here other than the LED um, power and lighting that's driving the LEDs. This is a new, wholly new, much faster, more sensitive uh, ferro cell creation. Much faster. Let's take that off, okay, and place the uh, cubes, which are hard to find because they're tiny little cubes. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Now, let me place the ring magnet back on there again. If you're interested in grabbing one of these um, ferro cells. Just drop a line. This is, uh, this ferro cell is the creation of the uh, new solution of Mike Palazzola, an electrical engineer. Now we're inching. This is, see how thin this is? This is the ring magnet. Infinitely more sensitive. Can you see inside there? Now let me show you something that I created. Magnets inside magnets. Let me get it for you. It's in here somewhere. There we go. 
Magnets inside magnets. And then I'll let you take a look at it. Okay. So I have it in my mouth. <laughs> you see that? Let me space them a little bit better for you. That way we can get a perfectly, nearly symmetrical view of the field from this uh, magnetic uh, rotor assembly using a ring magnet and little cubes. Let me slide it on here and let you take a look. I hope you like this video. Let me turn on the lights and let me show you this device. Let me zoom out a little bit. Here's the invention. Now, my buddy Tim Vandarelli invented the ferro cell, but this one, the new solution, is the USB recharger. It's a little tiny unit, it's a 52 millimeter diameter. Got to hear the cells. I'm going to make a couple more of these tonight. This is it. This is the new solution, um, new formula, ultra fast acting ferro cell. I hope you were stunned because you were looking at the very principle that gives 100% of the volume to the visible universe. You were looking at the face of magnetism itself. It doesn't have to be that dark to use this. You could use this out in broad daylight. I mean, right now I have two rather bright lights on. Let me uh, drop uh, the uh, broken ring magnet. All this is is a broken one of these. See, same thing. You can see the asymmetry of the field. Let me zoom in. The asymmetry of the field. Now this is with rather bright lights on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me put the ring magnet back on again so you can see the hypertrochoid pattern that everybody likes to see. That defines the reciprocating processional hyperboloid, the discovery of which is completely mine as to the true geometry and field geometry of the magnet because I made that discovery before I even knew that the ferrule cell even existed and then I discovered it in the middle of writing my second edition and now we have here a much faster much more sensitive much more sensitive ferrule cell using a new dilution this is real time this is, there's, there's no signal inside of this. This is pure light and magnetism. Pure light and magnetism. Can you wrap your mind around that fact? Real time only. Pure light, magnetism, and glass. <laughs> what is inside here underneath this magnet is exactly this. This is this. See, it's clear. There's nothing there. There's nothing feeding it. No TB tube, no LCDs, no nothing. In fact, these cells are so sensitive, I can actually hold the magnet up to this and then hold that against the light and actually see the magnetic field just with the ferro cell alone. How do you like them bananas? I hope you really enjoyed this video. There's a lot more to come, but I've been incredibly busy today. Thank you so much. Bye.